Hey, it's Elliot and a very happy new year to you. So we are in 2021 and with this comes many new resolutions and at least in my niche what I hear and what I see is many people wanting to make 2021 the year where they become profitable traders. Now the great thing with the beginning of a new year is motivation. Everyone is very motivated. Now what a lot of people are lacking is a specific plan, okay? They will go ahead and start learning how to trade but by June, July, no one's there, no one's profitable, and no one's going anywhere. So what you are going to see in this video is a step-by-step -step action plan to actually achieve that goal of becoming successful and profitable in trading over the course of 2021. So this is really a blueprint that you will be able to follow. And I really think that if you follow this blueprint specifically, you will end up at the end of 2021 with achieving what probably 99.9% .9 of traders have not achieved. So throughout this video, we are going to cut 2021 into four different quarters. And these four different quarters will have different goals. So let's go. So your first step as a trader, of course, starts in quarter one, Q1. So what you're going to start with is getting as much knowledge as possible. And the best thing I'd recommend for this is actually investing in yourself and getting your hands on a trading course. So of course, I personally created a trading course in which I teach you and show you everything I do from A to Z. So the knowledge you'll be able to acquire will be all found in here. What you will be looking for inside a trading course are really three things. The first thing is you need a course that you will be able to follow in a step-by-step -step manner. Now, secondly, you really need a trading course that will focus a lot on risk management as this will allow you to be profitable on the long run. Now, the last point is you need a trading course that will actually show you a trading plan. You see too many traders get caught up in trading principles. So support and resistances, trend lines, Fibonacci, these are principles, okay? But it's all these principles put together with very specific rules, uh, risk to reward requirements, etc., that make up a trading plan and this is what you need. Now I have personally created a trading program in which I show you everything I do from A to Z in a very step-by-step -step manner. The whole program is made of videos. It's one of the best reviewed programs online so I'm very proud of it. However, and I'm really saying this honestly, I'm not making this video to promote this course at all. If you find a very good course and you, and you compare different courses and you find something better, um, go ahead. Now for those interested, the link of the program will be just below this video but as I said, please make your research, look at different offers, look at different values and really make your own personal decision. So this is the first step you'll have to take in Q1. Now the second step is actually opening a demo account and getting a feel for trading, okay? Uh, it's really in that first part where you are getting to learn that you'll make your first demo trading uh, trades and really get a feel of the different trading platforms, how they work, how you use them, how the market is moving, etc. So this is really the discovery stage and where you'll try and get as much knowledge as possible from a course which is step-by-step -step in which you'll be able to learn everything. We are now in Q2, so hopefully you've learned enough in Q1 to be able to start from Q2 a track record of three months. So what I mean by this is you are going to open a completely new demo account and you are going to trade this demo account for the whole of Q2 as if it was real money. Now the two most important things in this quarter is to track every single trade you take on that demo account. So what I mean by this is you need a software such as Excel for instance, where you literally track all of your trades. So for me personally, I do use a personal Excel sheet in which I track all my different trades. I'm able to see my profit and loss. I'm able to see my equity curve, my average win, my average loss, and this is really what you need. Now in my program linked below, you will be able to download all these Excel sheets and actually use them for yourself. So you will be able to track and see all these numbers. Now the second most important thing after tracking literally everything you do and building a track record of three months on demo is having a trading journal. Now this will allow you to basically note down every single mistake you've made and also learn from your wins. Now a trading journal is something you can keep on PowerPoint or you can keep on Word. You can take screenshots of your different charts from before and after, uh, put some notes and yes. So overall in Q2 you will build that track record and your main goal is not necessarily to make money on that demo account. Your main goal is to not fuck up, okay? I always say this, but successful trading is not making money after money after profit after profit. Successful trading is just the art of consistently not fucking up, okay? Because that's the issue. Usually people will go six months and then fuck up and they lose everything. So yes, your, your main goal for these three months is to not fuck up. We are now in Q3. 
So hopefully in Q1, you've been able to accumulate a lot of knowledge. In Q2, you've been able to get a lot of experience and get some consistency in not fucking up by tracking all your trades and getting and getting that consistency and that momentum in your personal work. So Q3 is finally the quarter where you will open a live account and start trading with real money. Now for this quarter, you'll need to understand that the goal will not be to make money. So what I would recommend doing is actually saving up your cash in Q1 and Q2 in order to open a significant account in Q3. Now, when I say significant, of course, it's a big variable, but I generally mean nothing less than 1000. However, for the moment, you still don't have any experience with trading real money, so you are not going to risk a lot of money. What we are trying to do here is getting your asset under management, so AUM, quite high, so having a very significant account, but we will use very limited risks on that account. So your asset under management is high, however, your risk is low. So when I'm talking about low risk, obviously, depending on the size of the account, you could literally go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0.3% uh, of your whole account per trade, which means that even if you incurred losses, these losses will be very small and hopefully you've been able to not fuck up in your demo tracking period. So as I'm sure you've understood, the goal for this quarter is not to make money, but it's really to track everything you do on a live account because psychology and emotions will be very different than from a demo account. Now remember, as I said, to keep that risk per trade extra low, but to also keep that AUM, so that asset under management, so your total size of your account quite high. And this will just help you in the psychology part because in Q4, we'll go ahead and increase the risk. However, the size of the account is still the same. So you're not increasing your asset under management. So this will really help you at the beginning of trading a large account, but with limited risks. Now, the last thing you'll have to do also in Q3 is to, of course, track all your trades, journal all your trades, but the added is to also journal your emotions in your trades, okay? Because you'll find out that sometimes you've made a specific decision based on your emotions. So you need to keep track of all of this and journal it. We are now in the last quarter of 2021. And this is the time to really level up your trading and where everything comes together in order to trade like a pro. So by then you should have the knowledge, you should have the experience, you should have also the data with all the track records you've been able to have on demo accounts and real accounts. And you should also have your psychology in place because you have been trading with a high asset under management. Now Q4 is the quarter where you will increase your risk per trade. Now, how do you do this? What risk should you get? This is where all your tracking from the last basically six months, three months on demo, three months on live, come into place. By looking at all your track records, you will be able to see what are sort of your losing streaks. Now, some people may have losing streaks that go up to 15 trades. Now, other people may have losing streak that never exceed five to six trades. So knowing this, you should be able to calculate at which point you could go up to in terms of risk per trade. Because you need to understand that if you trade on the 1% risk per trade and you are profitable, if you increase that risk per trade to let's say 10%, you may not be profitable because some people may have a losing streak of 10 trades in a row. If you have a 1% risk, then you have a loss of 10% and to get back that 10% and go back to your initial capital, it'll probably need 11.8 or 12% return to get back to that initial capital. However, of course, if you have a risk per trade of 10% and you lose only five trades in a row, that account is gonna lose 50% of its value. Now to get back to your original point, your starting capital, you won't need a 50% return, you will need a 100% return. You will need to times two your account just to get back to its original value. So once again, how do you know what is your maximum risk per trade? Simply by looking at your track performance, your track record for the last six months, and being able to calculate what would be a comfortable risk per trade for that account. So the goal for this last quarter is to really focus on consistency, okay? By then, I hope you've been able to find some sort of profitability, but the main thing is to get that consistency going, okay? To try and keep your losses low, and mainly the main thing, to never ever fuck up. Remember that for me, profitable trading is really the art of consistently not fucking up. So below this video, in the description, you will be able to download this blueprint for the year of 2021 absolutely for free. You will also have the link of my trading program, which obviously includes all the different softwares, all the different tools, all the different Excel sheets I personally use for my trading, etc. So I really hope this video will help you because looking at many different traders, I know the most successful and the most profitable traders are the traders that have a plan, are the traders that are very organized in everything they do. So this is really what I tried to give to you today. If you have any questions, 
concerned with this video or trading or finance in general, please leave them down in the comments. I will read every single comment. If needed, you can also send me a direct message directly to my Instagram, which is at YoungTraderWealth. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure you go and check all my other trading related videos on my account. I post a video every single Sunday, so make sure you subscribe. It was Elliot. Peace.